stage as well. So definitely here now coming up against Black Dragons. They are the favorites here. It's gonna be Furious starting off here on that CT side. Yes, as expected, um, this is uh, going to be a very important uh, round for uh, Black Dragons because if they can manage to secure at least this uh, pistol round and a couple more, perhaps get the conversion, that's going to be exactly the start that they need. And they're going to try to wrap around Origa on long. It's immediately punished and here comes the, the real barretas of uh, Isa. And Isa all over, Willis. <laughs> it is uh, all over, yes. Well, it was nice and clean, very fast pace, as we of course know Black Dragons fall, but uh, at the same time, Fury are ready as always to shut them down. And with that, the first pistol up on the board. Now, the good thing is here, there was of course a little bit of extra money on the back of the bomb plant. So you can already see a couple of pistols coming out. But actually, they're not going to be forcing very heavily here. Just the pistols, you know, have a bit of extra firepower, but then keeping it to actually have a proper buy around the next. Yeah, it's going to be a quick one, at least, uh, towards uh, Speedway, and Babs is going to get taken out immediately. Car with that uh, SMG, she's going to have a field day. Olga and Gabi, they're chiming in, and now it's uh, only only Lee left here at the Eagle. Perhaps a possibility to get a couple of headshots in, do some damage. Ka is hunting for her, and uh, that is one. Is there a possibility to get more done? Oh, the answer uh, is no. <laughs> no. And uh, to get the headshot uh, with the... Uh, SMG from that range as well. Oh, that's, yes. That's quite impressive. I mean, everything with this Fury lineup has been uh, so, so impressive to me. So I don't... <laughs> if we have a counter, how many times I'm going to say that word? <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Today? impressive. Okay, let's let's get a hedge counter up on the screen now. <laughs> uh, in the end, I'm just going to say... Uh, start saying, wow. <laughs> 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 Kind of a different approach here. Lee, Ooh, she does a lot of damage here to Issa through that smoke. And meanwhile, I think that uh, has been communicated over because look at how the Black Dragons have repositioned themselves. Started off with three players in towards that alien area. And they're going to try to take some, uh, regain some control here in towards middle. Well, the utility starts to fly over and of course Car hears that, needs to back up for now a little bit just to make sure she's not blind from that flash on the back of a misspray. Needs to fall back even further to not get killed. All guys actually taken out their belay. And at the same time, Black Dragons regain the control and it's still a 4-on-4. Four four. Yeah, a lot of uh, damage has been done back and forth, and this is actually an advantage situation for Black Dragons. They're one, uh, they're, they have the same amount of players, but that always will be a bit of a disadvantage for the cities who has to rotate off their uh, position of the car. She had it, I thought, for a second there, but it is Sinon who uh, wins that uh, duel. Mari now. Kami coming in huge, but will they expect Issa? This is her time to make a play and le! This brilliant from her and this is, uh, for all I can see around, the first round on the board for Black Dragons. It's really nicely done, how they dealt with it. Be patient, not really going too aggressive when the stakes are still high and all the utility is up on middle. And I, I really got to respect the way that they have just decided to give up that second round. Because a lot of teams nowadays, on the back of having a bomb planned on T-side, they're just going to be forcing. Um, and sure, it's still an okay buy. You're probably going to have a couple of Galils or maybe one or two AKs and a Mech-10. But now they have full-on AKs on the board. And you can see the firepower. And it certainly is winning over the, the bonus weapons that Furia still had. So, got to respect it. And now they have that first round on the board as well. 
Yeah, and uh, I think this is going to be the true test for uh, Black Dragons. As, uh, of course, the, there's uh, full weapons now on the furious side of things. They're gonna lose, uh, give up uh, mid control here. Three players from Black Dragon are quick up, and the question is if they are going to expect Olga in this very aggressive position. Olga, she gets one, she's hungry for more. Has her teammate Gabby nearby to help her out? And uh, nice entries there for the Furia players. See that reaction from them. They lost control of, uh, of uh, mid and they realized that they have to try to find some map control somewhere else. That is, uh, in this case, towards Banana and Speedway. Oh, but it looks like things they are looking to split into the A-form side. Oh, that's a beautiful flashbang to deal there with Car, And it's only Mari here on the site to deal with. They have a couple of pieces of utility still left, at, now, at least now not necessary. But Mari is going to be sitting all completely out, aimed by Babs. Well, suddenly it's looking very favorable for... Flash dragons, but perhaps it's a good change. It the answer is no, and it leaves Gabby all by herself. Brilliant! Uh, there by the black dragons being able to to make it back into a round like that after losing two players uh, quite early. That is uh, absolutely brilliant. And look at this now. Look at what uh, Fury has to, to, to do. They can't invest into this round. They don't have the money. They have Their economy has been totally crippled by the Black Dragons. And they look at this. This is uh, quite uh, brilliant. Already a tactical timeout coming out of uh, Fury. They've lost two rounds in a row. And they are <laughs> they're not happy to, to put it like that. I mean, of course they are not. That was their shot of really shutting down Black Dragons, their first buy. And with them still having a bit of money left, and they're, of course, on the full buy, and they're most likely just going to be on pistols. Going to be Black Dragons in the lead. And have a good shot of getting um, a, a nice stack of T-side rounds. Yeah, I think if you can get, uh, if you can get six... Or maybe seven, six, six I, th I would say five or six. Yeah. Six is definitely the sweet spot on uh, Ancient on T-side. If you get seven, you should be able to... You, you, you have quite advantage when you're switching on to, to CT side. Kami here. We talked a little bit about her initially. Oh, and Leia. Oh. Just looking desperately for more. Does take a bit of a hit. But, well, the smoke will deal with Car for now. And at the same time, Light Dragons, of course, have so much control already. Not being contested. They can easily walk through. Lay does need to be careful. Oh, luckily, Sinan will have her back. At the same time, they also need to be aware of their own because Garvey is about to take a peek. And she will say hello. Grabs an AK. Um, needs to be a bit careful because, well, she's not going to be escaping. And that's a nice clean round again by Black Dragons. They survived with four of them. Not too much damage dealt. And that economy now is uh, looking already pretty sad. Yeah, it's uh, looking solid. I mean, this is uh, <laughs> quite uh, nice. It's, it's securing the kill, we, we call that. Just picking. Yeah, absolutely. 100% sure that <laughs> you're not going to you're not gonna whiff. It's been a brilliant start so far by the Black Dragons. And uh, I think particularly Leia has been stood out to me as uh, someone who has been doing a lot of initial damage for her, uh, for her team. Interesting, uh, interesting uh, default around by Black Dragons. This is the second time that we've seen them stack uh, quite heavily outside middle and inside a main. I think they're anticipating and expecting an aggressive play coming out of the side of Furia on that part of the map. And also this boost, trying to find someone uh, up towards uh, Speedway. Unsuccessful uh, so far. Can be looking at them trying to 
perhaps retake mid, but it could all be a ruse. Here comes the push. Mari is so close up, close up personal waiting for them. But there are no players coming because the hit is actually on A. Well, at, at this point, again, Iza is definitely ready for it. Again, over Olga, he grabbed two, and there's no smoke yet, and they've crossed straight out into the open. And that could become a uh, big problem. Lay is already tagged pretty low. And look how close Olga already is, straight into the side of Babs down, the full HP player, and both of them are now taken out. That's a nice retake. Honestly, it was also at the cost of just some small mistakes. Black Dragons... Sure, I like the pace that they were then getting into the side with on the back of those um, middle entries. But you still got to be careful. There's no players by accident close here onto the A side. Yeah, I think uh, the initial f uh, the initial frag coming out, trying uh, actually keeping uh, to, uh, control of, uh, of uh, tempo was key to that the retake being successful. You saw that uh, once that position was lost, it was a little bit of a, like, what, what are we going to do now? We don't really have any, any map control to play the, the afterplant. Different uh, strategy and their default here now. Kami is going to get boosted up, try to search for something, but searching oh. is uh, Olga. Gabi gives her a great flash and look at this. She is just, she doesn't have any fear. Nothing whatsoever, and the T's are completely locked out. Honestly, if they were to get Mari to actually lurk all the way around, it could have been even more devastating. But there are still a couple of tags onto the side of Fury. Oh, but through the woods. I mean, they're going to be sitting around, so sure, Olga could just try and spray, even gets one more down. And at this point, it's a slaughter fest in favor of Fury. Yeah. That's the and last that's one as well. Oh, that it's so clean. Uh, yeah, look at that. She just doesn't back out from uh, oh, from the fight. Cool. No, no backing out whatsoever. She she gets that initial flash from her teammate, enabling her to peek down. She spots three players, I think. She gets one, and then she just flashes for herself, throws down that smoke, moves out in it, up on the on the little bit of a scaffolding there, just peeks mm. above it, get another one. And from that, she's just spamming through the smoke and the, the wood and everything. And oh, Haka, she's caught up uh, by this fast tech line rush from Black Dragons. Mari now, last defender on this uh, A side, gets taken out by Bounce. And now Olga and Gabby, they're on for the retake. Oh. And Olga, oh, what a perfect timing from her. Takes out the bomb planter. It's all down to Bob's. She is so low in HP. Ah, that's so rough. I thought for a good second that Babs had a good shot of that, but them being tagged straight through the smoke as well. That's a rough one. Being low HP and not able to clutch it out. So Furia, they actually strike back. You know, it was two to three, now five to three. That is all favoring Furia. Now Carl has that AWP upon the board. And Maid is about to be looking a lot more scary now. Yeah, I'm gonna see if uh, Black Dragon is gonna try again. We pass the pace out to mid. Actually, manages to kind of win that, but look at this. Olga again. She is uh, not having any of it. She's gonna back out now, though. Mahari is full flash. And she gets clear there by Lee. Now, look at this smoke that's coming in from the Black Dragon. So the smoke of the rotations here in City Spa. Oh, this becomes a problem. Simon yeah. finds Gabby. The CTs are completely split up. Well, at the same time, look look how much space um, Sinon has cleared over towards the B side right now. She could easily catch the other rotation back towards B. And also, when the bomb is about to be planted. Yeah, she doesn't have to do much more than she's already done in this round. Olga, of course, they, kn they knew she was playing close to that uh, smoke that they threw towards seed spawn. 
have uh, not really any idea where Kai has been all this round, but he could suspect as much as uh, her uh, with her up trying to anchor up that uh, a bomb site. They're gonna be looking. They're gonna be searching. Olga surely she's gonna win this uh, duel. That's it for her, and she's going to find her way towards Donut, and with her teammate locking down that uh, peak towards uh, Speedway. But uh, another round here for the Black Dragons, all on the back of that, uh, that initial, those initial duels in uh, middle, causing some rotations to have to come through for the CTs, and then of course Sinon finding, uh, I believe it was Gabby, up towards that B bomb site. Mm. Clearing it for for uh, her team. The Black Dragon's utility actually have been pretty strong. You know, just flashes into middle, really becoming uh, the, the better of here. Yeah? Now they'll be giving it everything that they've got. Still got that open to car, but for example, is that just on an MP9? Limited amount of utility and already quite a bit used early round here. In order to again take control of that middle area. And Carl this time around with the orb towards the A site because Black Dragon certainly have been favoring it. Yeah, we're gonna see here though. Carl is so cute. Oh. Actually manages to find bumps uh, there. This uh say impressive amount. He spams that smoke the perfect timing and finds Isar. 3 versus 3 now. The retake is coming through for the Black Dragon sign up. She is all on her own on the side. As for now, but Le has managed to rotate around towards Donut with Olga in the end. Takes her out. Gonna be looking for that op. Where did you put the car? <laughs> it's uh, surely here somewhere. It was a nice, nice attempt though to try and hang on. The angle was right, but honestly, even while blind, oh my goodness, car was still able to hang on and deal a bit of damage as Black Dragon of course were entering that side and. On the back of that round, there is a bit of a split economy, in fact, on the side of Black Dragons. We have a couple of players that are most likely going to be struggling. Kami has a little bit more to work with, so they could drop a weapon over. But then you're, you're most likely going to have two Galils on the board. And the question is, do you want that? Or are you just going to be going for a half by here instead? Um, I mean, you could, you could have AKs uh, pretty much all around, but that's going to be... At the cost all the of uh, all your utility, yeah. yeah. And as we've seen so far, the the black dragons they've been uh, quite, uh, I would say, quite. Um, they Looks they've like been they using <laughs> they've been using their utility quite well, so they definitely need that to in order to to punish uh, Furia. Interesting uh, bit of tech and, uh, and pistol buy here. It's gonna be the Mac 10 coming in first and straight into the open hands of Olga. Nice uh, triple kill for her. The remaining players here. Oh, Hobbs actually takes out Carl's holding that. Oh one. no! And gets another one. That is absolutely brilliant from uh, Bubs. But uh, Lena, you know, a very <laughs> pressured uh, situation. Can't get the bomb down there, but that's a good bit of damage done to the economy of uh, Furia. Yeah, I mean, off of the, the fact that they were flashed in, everything favored Furia for a good second. But uh, Black Dragons uh, on, on the back of picked up AKs, definitely able to. Uh... Make that worth a shot. Nonetheless, now the full bite is actually back up on the board, and Kami has that orb now in her hands. Here's to see where she's going to be leading the T side orb, but already look at this aggression coming through by Black Dragons. It's a burning infestation here on middle, and again, they're just going to be marching straight out into A. Oh, into A and into the waiting, open, loving arms of uh, Ka. Oh, nice. 
is never going to expect Gabi in this situation gets taken out and it is falling apart here a little bit for the side of Black Dragons. Meanwhile, we have Leda. Could she be the saving grace of her team? She's gonna find Gabi here, yes, and that surely is the round here for Black uh, Dragons. Ka, who has pushed all the way to A main, is uh, with her off. It's gonna be very difficult to be able to retake uh, this. There is a rifle here. Can she find Kami here early? Or is Kami? Oh, oh. Kami. Oh, she spots her. Now they know exactly where uh, Ka is uh, lurking. And the thing is, does Black Dragons really want to be going for this? Only if they can actually manage to do so cleanly, because their money hasn't been able to build up whatsoever. Oh, and now Lair will be walking into the hands of Ka. Luckily, Kami can strike on the back of that. Keep that up away. Uh, but the good thing is, now the economy for Furia is broken as well. I mean, earlier we were saying like five or six rounds T side. That's already most likely going to be a pretty good job. Uh, but now with low economy on Furia, there's a shot of having six. Yeah, and I think six is uh, pretty much a sweet spot. Uh, like yeah. I was saying earlier, can they get uh, more than that? That's going to be absolutely fantastic. Isa is the only one with uh, a weapon that is not a pistol for Furia. So they can at least do a little bit of damage and uh, all these deagles for the Furia players. We know how lethal they can be. Mari, she's gonna reposition herself towards Donut. Khan actually finds Le here in, uh, in mid and that's the bomb. So the bomb is gonna spend a long time rotating in they are in hot pursuit that is olga oh, and wow. ka olga's gonna be able to pick up an ak as well and that's smoke oh no he plays oh, so no. close spots kami's uh, rifle stick through there and another smoke no way ka, of course oh this is not so like scary. this Sending us to clear all the angles, and they're both pretty low, so the shot, oh well, she Ooh. will hit them, luckily for Black Dragons, because that, that got way too scary, and in the same process, Olga is now already on 20 kills in just yeah. 13 rounds played. Yeah, look at this, they, 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 they take out the, the bomb carrier, mm -hmm. they're outside mid, and that, con that is communicated to the Fura players, and look at this, Olga, she just holding W, she knows that <laughs> basically the only win condition that they have in this round, as they lost at A bomb site, is to, to take out the bomb carrier. Oh, oh, oh boy! Well, uh, looking uh, impressive <laughs> for the Black Dragons, but... Uh, of course, this is a pistol by round for Furia. And the uh, only pistols, I don't believe they had much of Kevlar or anything else. Yeah. I mean, last round, uh, of course, it, it was the same same type of affair. And at this time, Black Dragon's the same. Well, we're not going to let it happen again and make it too close for comfort. So this looks a lot, lot cleaner. Um, and with this, a, a super close affair on Asian 7 7 will be the scoreline here with all of the Black Dragons players surviving. So they're going to be having, well, I would say money for days, but there's only one round left to be playing. And it's going to come down to Daniel, who will take the lead into the second half. Yeah, let's see. They have a decent spawn here towards mid with three players. It's going to be interesting to see if they are going to try that same very aggressive fast mid round. Just up here, so. Gonna opt to have a couple of players try to search out something towards A main. Instead, gonna be sending Kami here to try to clear some angles with her off. Perfect smoke timing there by Mari. And look at the positions from Furia. Gabi cannot believe her eyes. She gets gifted a free frag there and 
She has basically full control over that B bomb site, has a lot of information. Only one player to be found there, and Furia has been able to stack quite heavily towards A site with three players. See one player in that window position. Oh, Olga! Oh, that's so lucky. Well, Olga hits. At Black Dragons have been doing this, so it's only fair for her to read the situation and spray for a smoke. So with that, nice advantage. Make it two players already, and with 30 seconds left on the clock, you can already see Fury is so ready, having three CTs here on the side, and there's no flashbang. Just walking out straight and dry, and with that, Furia will lead the half. But it's still a super close affair. Well, we would have to find out in a second of where it's going to be going. I'll we'll catch you in a little bit.
Welcome back everybody, now here on Ancient, of course, our first map. It's a super tight affair between Black Dragons and Furia, currently 7 to 8. And honestly, everything looked in the bad for Furia, but still with the economy, things were not as easy as it seems. Absolutely not, and uh, once again on the first map in uh, between these two teams, is, is, <laughs> it is as close as can be. Marida finds one entry. Can we and lead? Oh, the answer quickly. And that is uh, most of the Furia players taken out. This can be the winning moment, though. Car, she has flanked all the way to middle. It's going to make her way slowly here. Got the trigger discipline as well. She's going to be looking for to see if she can't find someone else. Oh, this is so brilliant. Oh! <laughs> Only good for one. Two oh. though. No, this is two versus two. This is absolutely doable for one. Yuria. Lay is so low. Well, now Gabby in the same process as well. And the, the biggest problem still is that the bomb is on the side and even with just 2 HP, Lay is fighting like a beast. Grabs both kills there in the hand. Oh my good. Well, um, eight to eight, ladies and gents. Uh, around you that. Know we, you know what home. we say for that? Ole, uh, ole, ole, ole. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Uh, we we need we need. Oh man, I missed the chance from back in Dallas when uh, all the Brazilians were going crazy. I I I need I need that hype in the chat. Yeah, get us some hype in the chat. Come on, come on, Sino. Oh, <laughs> that utility damage is brilliant. She gets two. As her has Lea here, ready and waiting in towards that donut area. Gonna get two. Look at that. Sign on with uh, two two frags and three assists. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so suddenly it was Black Dragons that was behind. Now they're in the lead. Of course, there will now be a buy from Furia. Um, but on paper, Black Dragons have a good shot here. Getting on to double digits. The only question is. Werewolf, for example, Lei would be playing with the MP9, and X also here looking to actually play very up close and aggressive. And perhaps if those Molotovs will be fading, they can push. Oh, well, they're going to be doing it. Lei finds one. MRE, she feels a little bit sandwiched. You can already see her look behind. Oh, and she's about to be flanked as well. And at the same time, Ka is trying to get the same type of aggression going, but Sinon picks her off. And this is all falling apart here for Furia. A uh, good idea there from Ka to to uh, try to to move up and get some uh, get some map control towards that B site, but she just couldn't uh, hit her shots. Asylum is just uh, simply out aiming her at this moment in time and. That could have been a completely different story than what we are seeing here right now. They are uh, lotoping Le out of her position behind that square in Donut. Mike's oh, just gonna have a little bit of a, perhaps a little bit of a gap here in that smoke. Oh, but this is so tricky. If uh, if the Black Dragons players had pushed towards through those uh, double doors down in Banana. Are we gonna get to see that? Yes, Bob's finds uh, Marian. That is not only one uh, Furia player down, that's also the bomb. And uh, really, it's uh, not much is I can do other than some damage to the Black Dragon economy. Is she gonna be able to save this AK as well? There is one player in Hot Pursuit. That is uh, Le. She's uh, surely gonna make it out. And that is uh, one more there, 10 to 8. It's looking like the ancient pick uh, from Black Dragons have uh, been uh, working out, at least uh, at this so far. Yeah, and this is the thing that I was a bit scared of. Uh, I mean, honestly, I wasn't expecting it to come out because this is a map that Black Dragons on the board also really haven't played. But 
if you are a team that struggles to really get going uh, against, for example, big teams like Furia, and you know that there are certain maps that they don't play, the map pool is not as deep, you could try and just really put in the homework into a certain map and try and come out with a punishment. Of course, we're not there just yet, but everything is certainly looking that, uh, well, I, I think in comparison to having a um, a dust to a, or a mirage upon the board, um, yeah, th this ancient is looking a lot better for black dragons. It most certainly is, but you can see from the utility users that Fura is putting down that they also know how to play the map. I think they, they have been uh, caught a little bit of guard so far, and caught off guards is also, it also, Sinon, gets taken out, pushing uh, very aggressively towards Aemon and Lea. It's gonna get tested an SMG against a couple of uh, pistols. Oh. It is the AKs that reigns supreme, and now things have really turned around in favor of uh, Furia. Annex, Annex is all the way down in T-spawn and uh, Bubs. I think she is also want to be looking at uh, perhaps saving this uh, AK into the next round. Gonna have uh, Furia players though. At least Gabby. Gabby and Issa are gonna be trying to Sniff out if there are some uh, dragons down here in the water of uh, T-spawn. Oh. oh, that could have been huge. Olga, she had the uh, op on her back. Op that they uh, would most certainly want to have in uh, coming into this round, Furia. So they steal this round back, and honestly, in a fashion that wasn't necessarily predicting, you could see that the MP9s were struggling against those AKs that were then swarming in, and it was only a couple of them. There's so many players still on Teagles, and look what's happening right now, the aggression again. And Furia are looking to conquer middle, but Bab just trying to say a no to that, grabs two, and backs the hell out, because now they have a player advantage, and the quest here is to not let it slip away. Yeah, but uh, we know what Olga can do. Does she have the timing here now? Simon's gonna push straight into her crosshair. And this is uh, brilliant. Look at how disciplined she is as well. She she can kind of deduct that there should be an op close by. So she doesn't peek aggressively here in towards uh, CT spawn. It's not always up to be, be so uh, aggressive, Olga. She's just playing it super, super smart. She's gonna leave the tempo control to her teammate. No, so to play the afterplans here. Ka, of course, is locked down the upper, but no, this is uh, interesting. Bobs against Ka. That afterplan, though, that should have been it. What? Oh, what the shit that must have been? Oh man, I, I I hope we can get to see a replay if there's time for it. But like, that was beautiful. Just tapping it, forcing out the op, and there was already a tech prior to that. Uh, and just Carl seemed a little bit panicky. Oh man, and it all started off with this chaos down in middle. And Babs just saying no. And Babs is honestly the hero of this round. They're in after plant as well. And this is um, a, 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 the thing that Black Dragons um, actually they're pretty solid when it comes to uh, to retaking. Um, already here, Sinon grabs the opening. That is out. And Vera instantly slowing down. Yeah. If there is uh, one team that has the capability of uh, winning uh, rounds when they are starting them with one player down, it most certainly is uh, Furia. They almost did it in the previous round. Kha gets uh, flashed. Oh, gonna get flashed again. Very passive position here inside of Temple from uh, Sinon. Olga 
Oh, we guys, pretty sure that uh, something is uh, not right here. There are no players to be found just yet, and uh, Le and Sinon. Such a strong A hold there from uh, them. Strong A hold, but it all is on the back of those flashes that are just constantly raining into their teammates. You get buffs getting uh, flash assist there on the, on the kill feed. Delaying the push out from Furia, denying good uh, positions, denying those uh, entries that uh, Furia are so uh, desperately needing there in that situation where there are one player down. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how uh, to defend the A site on Ancient. It's really nicely done. And every, I mean, for the majority, it's Bab, Sinon, and Leia doing a lot of work. Gabby and Addicts, they, they have already been gotten, like, all the action. They're just waiting uh, the site. And, well, honestly, I have to give so much props to Babs, the way she is playing here today. It is so impressive. Already in the first half, she was, like, contending with the scoreline of Olga. Now, Olga is still up by a kill. Uh, but that says a lot because Olga was already on 20 kills in round 12. And she hasn't gotten many after. And that's a bit scary. Ooh, as you call her out. To not, uh, <laughs> hope mm -hmm. not have been dragging. <laughs> She's like, hello, Virles. I can absolutely <laughs> get one, get two, get a triple kill, and if she gonna get the quad, call me. She finishes things off. And I think uh, the actual reason for Anna X and Kami not having uh, much of an impact here on the city side so far is the fact that Furia has had this tendency of going up towards mid and ending up towards that uh, A site most of the time, meaning uh, that, of course, the B players, if they would be anchors, they haven't had uh, much action uh, so far in the mm -hmm. game. And action, it's gonna be action packed towards the mid. Ooh. Look at the utility damage already. The nades are flying, and and X tries to peek on the back of that. Gaps will get one, but also she will be traded. So that's actually a two for one trade favoring Ooh. Furia. Oh, it's going to be a very close affair. It is uh, already sneaked up. The pressure will be on. Sinon at least grabbed one. If she can get any more, ah. that's a second. And Kami actually grabbed Iza on the flank. So it's a one on one. Oh, Kami with the orb. How Silent gets that as she's in mid mid air, dropping down for the boost and just yeets. Uh... <laughs> That uh, poor Furia player was absolutely. Uh, I'm in shock, Willis. I'm in shock. This will be important. Olga doesn't have a piece of utility left to work with, but also Kemi needs to retake this with an op. But Olga's actually sitting along. She's going to be missing the timing, unfortunately. But Olga doesn't know. And this is about to turn real interesting. Yeah, Kami is gonna have to perhaps search out. She's gonna, she does have a smoke for the bomb down, a couple of uh, flashes. She's just gonna try to find the frag here, makes oh. a step. It's oh. all the smoke and all that. She is uh, too close. No hiding there for uh, for Kami. But that uh, looked to be uh, that that was a round that Fury should have had. Look at this. Look at this again. Look at look at this. <laughs> is it literally in, in middle in mid air? She's yeah. flying down and uh, fra fragging fragging uh, on the way on the landing. Fury uh, could almost for black dragons. They're gonna need they need. Well, bombs away here. Oh. So it's gonna get pushed. Oh, by she just all of them. Get one. Oh, that's the bomb. Villers. Oh that's no, the this the is scary. Bombed. Yeah, they're well, gonna keep going though. Not that's them. Uh, well. Um, uh, that's certainly a decision Bobby. made. Yeah, but... Bobby looks like she's oh. on the on the deathmatch server. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's she made... made it out on the to stay there. <laughs> I mean, they do make it a bit costly here for Furia, but uh, yeah, 
uh, Black Dragon unfortunately had to eco that one out. But now they get money back on the board, especially Cami back on the orb. Didn't always have the most impact, but certainly uh, can hit the kills when necessary. But the, the, the coolest thing I think here in this matchup is just with how close Black Dragons are continuing to make these rounds. It's not Fury stomping them anymore. And even if Fury actually take a round, it's usually with only one or two players alive. Oh! Ama X can even out uh, aim further. That is uh, brilliant. Sinon Dog is taken out, and look at this Gabi, she has managed to gain somewhat control over towards that A bomb site. Look at this. Yeah, she has uh, one teammate here to help her out. This is Issa. But uh, I think that Furia, oh, they were thinking about it. They were thinking about going up to uh, take that uh, B bomb site. Surely, Black Dragons, they know Gabi. They, they know it was her that got uh, the entry onto Sinon. So they should certainly know that she is around here somewhere oh. who's gonna win this duel. It is Gabi. But Kami, no smoke towards uh, CT spawn of that. Punished. Oh, she went out right before it bloomed and there. Is she gonna push this smoke? Yes. Nice. That's what we need to see, but the pressure is still on to Garby, and she will get the second kill as wow. well. Beautifully done. Um, it, it, again, it does get really close at the point, and I'm not too sure which way it's going to be swinging. It's still nicely done. I, I thought that instant shot um, there onto the side was, was great for Black Dragons, but perhaps they waited... Um, a tiny bit too long to really clear out the positioning of Gabi because they knew for certain she was on the side. They seemed almost too scared to clear her out, knowing yeah, yeah. how but much she looking, can frag. <laughs> yeah, looking at what she did uh, after, then uh, most certainly. But uh, I think when you, you are in Black Dragon's uh, position, I think the last thing that you should do is question yourself and question your abilities mm. to to trade out one player uh, because if there's something that's going to to make you <laughs> stand above uh, a team like Fury, if you're going to have any chance of beating them, you will have to have a ton of confidence and that we did not see in that uh, round here. But... They have, uh, we can say, confidently stacked that uh, A bomb site at least, and Issa is going to be having. It's a, it's a little bit of a surprise, uh, perhaps. She got a spot, anyone there? Yeah, Beast throwing a lot of utility. Oh. Finds uh, one niche here. Bobs is waiting so patiently here behind that uh, tall box. Oh, and they're just going to sneak away as the three other Fury Out players have found the open B bomb site. Yeah, I mean, so far, very nice and clean. Even looking behind, really making sure you're not letting slip, letting slip away. And with this round, we're going to have ourselves an even closer affair 13 13. And the money is looking perhaps a tiny bit better for Furia, but honestly, if Black Dragons can win two rounds in a row, I think the money is going to be gone, and then Furia is going to be struggling. You know, uh, they might be forcing. So honestly, this round, if Black Dragons still want to have it, they need to mm. win the next one. Yeah, they certainly do. And on the others, uh, in the other match uh, today, we have. Uh... MIBR playing against Independence Female and uh, they are also playing on Ancient and oh. MIBR is uh, currently reading that one quite uh, favorably. 4 into to 9. But looks like they could pick up that map but here of course we are still waiting to find out which way it will swing and already a lot of utility used actually on both sides. Furia don't have a lot left. Black Dragons 
They are waiting for those Molotovs to fade, oh. but this is beautiful. They boost right above the smoke and grab themselves a two-player advantage. Wow, that's a brilliant uh, timing. Br brilliant uh, boost and a brilliant timing to pull that one out of the out of, out of the playbook. Those two entries, that is uh, oh, certainly... Oh. I say certainly, as Khan is finding one, but I think... Oh, <laughs> yeah, Kami, she's gonna be clocking down that line. And uh, 14 to 13 now, Black Dragons. Economy of Fury is, uh, of course, in force territory, so yeah. most certainly that's what they're uh, going to do. See, Issa has bought up an uh, AK already, perhaps a little bit uh, too quickly. Tactical timeout also from the side of uh, Furia. Gonna be discussing if anything, what went uh, right? Where is the weaknesses in the Black Dragons defense? Certainly hasn't uh, appeared to be mid as soon as that Mullo hits. It's kind of, uh, you, you have to have a good spawn to mid if you're gonna be able to move past both the yeah. mullo and the, the nade that's gonna surely follow but i have a little bit of a different uh, thing coming out here from furia three players towards b i don't want to say i don't want to be counting out furia here just yet because we have seen them win a couple of rounds with half buys. The important thing is how the timings will work out. Yeah, this is another. Will... I was just gonna say that it was another br brilliant boost from uh, Black Dragons, but uh, you you were saying. Well, that obviously we know Fury for how they're able to take their space now there was an initial flashbang and Kami should know well on the back of that oh, as she flicks that's so important she needs to stay alive and oh actually on the back of that she grabs the other player now another one and perhaps the defense will be falling apart patience is key here on the X oh no. close Oh, but that might be it here for Simon. She can she find another one? Oka is too strong in our lead. Or one versus three. She finds the first one. She finds Ka and Issa. Perfect uh, positioning there from her. 14 to 14. Yeah, but the economy is not looking great for Black Dragons. They have to force. Or no. They're going to be playing for overtime. Got to respect it. They have a feeling that perhaps with a limited buy, that they're going to be struggling against Fury, and then they will actually lose their shot of taking the map. So they're going to be setting themselves up for success here. And instantly going to oh, be coming out with a like rush. Oh, but the Molotov is stealing so much damage, and there is no smoke. One by one, the wall will be picked up. There is no smoke, but there is Issa. <laughs> well, yes, but even Issa, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> she, had, she had some, uh, this this time around, she had her friend with her. The same yes. default as they were doing in the previous uh, round. Three players were B, two here together working as a team, as a unit towards uh, mid. Just holding here now, Gabby is going to have... Two quick one to finish off the round and 15 on the board for Furia. And as we are heading into the last oh. round of, uh, how do you call it? No normal time? Yes, uh, people just call it the uh, regulation. Um, the so just the... Of the oh, regulation. Yeah. Black Dragon using a tactical timeout and it's gonna be. Uh, Interesting to see if they are going to have to maybe switch the things up a little bit because now Fury has found uh, a bit of success towards uh, the B bomb site a couple of rounds in a row. And when it's, it's even weirder, when it's this close, 
every single round so far that we have seen has counted and this is going to be it. I remind you, just two in uh, the very first uh, round of uh, of the season, we had double overtime. Yes, but the scary part perhaps is, is that Nuke will be up next. Oh, someone uh, <laughs> has uh, stood up. Perhaps we have a bit of a, a technical uh, thing going on that they're looking to be fixing. I hope not a complete PC that has decided to crash. <laughs> um, but uh, I mean, yeah, so the, the, the map to come after this one is Nuke and not Dust. So, and often... I mean, if I just take a quick look at the score lines of them on Nuke, I see here a 16-10, 16-9, 16-5, all favoring Furia. Um, and, well, the 16-10 was the, pretty much the best score line they've had. And keep in mind, this was back all the way in March. And they've had a couple of roster changes, and the score line actually hasn't been looking better since then. So that's the thing that worries me. I hope that you know, they were probably predicting that Nuke was going to be coming out here today. So perhaps they put in the same amount of work like they did with Ancient and they can actually pull up a fight. But definitely won't be easy. No, if there's uh, something that we know is not easy, it is to, to play against Furia. And I don't think it uh, matters which map you're playing uh, them uh, on. It's always going to be a difficult one. And... Uh, Interesting, though, to, to say that uh, Black Dragons, they have truly come out uh, guns blazing. And uh, I feel like that uh, especially Sinon and Bob's have been uh, super, super solid and uh, vital for the scoreline so far. And this is... Uh, the, this is it, Willis. The very last round of, uh, you called it, regulation. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> We're seeing if we are going to be heading into overtime or not. Is that at least? Hold on. Hold on. They're going to be it. flashing. Oh, that's beautifully done. They grabbed the first, but Gabby is here to at least trade. But it's a two for one trade, giving here the advantage to Black Dragons. And, well, Furia will be rethinking the strategy, looking to really early set foot here onto this B bomb site. But Cave smote off. There. Yeah, I just have to say, it's such a rarity that we see oh. this uh, mid-play happen and Olga, she has to do it all here if she's going to secure the first oh. map for her team. She finds Babs, she's gonna grab the bomb, but she has so much time to work with here, so much time, so many frags, but so little HP. Did you did you catch that pub? H eight HP. <laughs> oh man, it's it's gonna be super tense. The pressure is on for Olga, and she is currently thirty bombing, but with low HP, she needs to separate the fights in order to have a shot at this. She's gonna go straight into oh. through the temple, but here's the footstep, and now that's the first kill, and this is important. She's trying to delay, and Lee will actually find the kill, of course, just a couple oh. of HP, but with that, we are going to be going to OT. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic, and uh, so many brilliant moments uh, in the map so far. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, I think we need to take a bit of a breather after that one, so we will go to a short break, but after that, OT will be ready.
Welcome back, everybody. We have landed ourselves in overtime once again between these two teams. And the stakes, man, they are high. Black Dragons, they have a great shot of taking their own Mapic home. And honestly, this went a lot closer than I expected it to be. Oh, I think a lot closer than any one of us uh, would expect it to be. Except for, of course, the side of the squad of Black Dragons and La. Oh, she she had the perfect timing here. But is she gonna spot the player up here? Yes, she will. Issa, of course. Also, could see her. And now the push comes into B side. Olga finds uh, bumps. And now. Remaining of the CT defense has been smoked off here. Perhaps what could find them uh, able to retake this is Le, of course, on the flank. Yes, two quick ones and Gabi and Olga. Oh, well, they're looking, but look at this the HP not favoring them. And honestly, yeah, it is on the back of Le on that flank, getting to grab the advantage and Forcing Fury to go on the hunt in order to still hang on to the round. So props to Black Dragons. They get the first round here into OT. And oh, so nicely done. Oh, and then the end there, the line up for Annex. And I think that was uh, nice as well. Annex and uh, Annex and uh, Bumps. They they uh, got shot from short there. Olga, who, who thought, okay, I have to go for something aggressive. And then they both turn around to try to, to find her. Oh, well, Gabby wanted to take a bit of a look into the middle, but that Molotov will deny it for now. And already, Furia just being patient, are setting themselves up with a bit of an execute, but a flashbang doesn't really hit that deep into Temple. Now it will, but Gabby was already able to grab one. Now, though, one by one, the CTs will be peeking, and that's not quite the way to do it in. Giving the advantage now into the hands of Furia. Sign on. <clears throat> and uh, perhaps with the amount of uh, cash that you get going into these overtimes, of course, you should always uh, try, even though you are outnumbered and uh, perhaps out again. Got absolutely nothing to lose, perhaps, though. Doesn't even want to to give it a go here. Realizes that uh, this task was uh, too much. It's not AK though. That could be um, that could be something uh, nice actually to to have. As of course it is the strongest, the most superior uh, rifle that we have uh, in the game. Yeah, now on the back of that. Scoreline is all equal up on the board again. And ideally, Black Dragons want to win this round to really get themselves a little bit of an advantage going on the T side. But I have to admit, their T side looked solid in the first half. So even if Furia were to get it right now, I wouldn't even be too worried. I think perhaps Black Dragons can then still pull through. Now, Sina grabs the first, and that is nice. Getting aggressive, knowing that Furia have been playing towards his A side a lot. Yeah, she should get flanked here. She shouldn't uh, go up, be, I think, at the uh, edge there. She's going to enter in now. She, oh, she spots the barrel. She spots the barrel of Kami. She's searching for her, but Kami, she's just gone and taken out uh, Mari and now two versus two here it's taken out only Gabi left here now she has uh, um, so much we have been talking a lot about Olga on the 33 frags but Gabi actually has 31 in the end another one for the black dragons and 17 to 16. I mean, it 
it has been so even, so close. There's a whole, this whole map in the regulation time as well. And here in overtime, it just keeps going. I mean, I like that right now in that last round in particular, it was the citizen coming in together, peaking as a unit, whereas in the beginning it looks a little bit more sloppy on the defense. Um, they've definitely uh, regained themselves and come back stronger. Now, the important thing is that they will be switching. Is there a shot of Furia, you know, making it even on the board again? Or will suddenly Black Dragons get themselves a map point? <clears throat> Only time will uh, tell. I think we're looking at a rematch from uh, that does two that uh, they had us uh, the their uh, first map in the the uh, in the first round of the Impact League double overtime and uh, Mari she has uh, oh she's done so much manages to secure two frags for her team. Olga chimes in and Ka as well. Oh, Kao oh. repositions. Beautifully oh. done. And they strike back. A little bit of a dirty uh, <laughs> angle uh, there from, uh, from Ka. Yeah, she's like, I grab one. I'm going to grab the second one as well. And with that, Man, it remains so incredibly close. Black Dragons, they are not going to be having that T-side up again. Uh, I mean, technically a player could drop them, but it hasn't really been having the impact last round. Just better to set play it safe with the AKs on board. Perhaps for go in for a bit of an aggression again. And it's, it's pretty cool to see because actually a lot of teams like to favor the big bomb site. But both Black Dragons and Fury on their T-sides have been pushing very much against A. Yeah, they certainly have. And uh, what I find is a little bit interesting here is that this this is the standard default that we normally see. And Black Dragons haven't really been running this. Sinon gets dinged to that uh, little plank there. One nade or uh, one another bullet will take her out. And this is what happens in overtime, Vilas, that the plan is getting thrown out of the window. You kind of have to rely on what you what you, you normally do. So we're going to see things like this. Gabi. Gabi's uh, caught off guard here. And oh, there she is all alone. Going to get pushed very, very shortly, I believe. No. Black dragons, they are not interested in going into Olga's open arms. Oh. <laughs> and this is beautifully. This is how Furia likes to respond in car. Already can predict it. There's no smoke, so she can grab one, but will trade. So definitely a bit of an advantage now as that bomb goes down and look at the positioning of Leia already. It's not been predicted. And well, it's only good for one. Because Olga is going to be coming straight from the other side. But if it's one player that could clutch, it is Olga. But it's not going to be happening. And Black Dragons set themselves here on map point 80 for them. Fury now have a shot of making a double OT. Or else, Dragons are going to be having that map on the board. The first map uh, that Fury in that case, as far as I know, have lost to a female team since uh, we saw them lose to Enigma Galaxy in Valencia. That was in, that was in July, really. That's a couple of months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four months. Oh, heavy aggression again. Black Dragons not looking to stop at all. And that's already two opening frags. It did came at a bit of a HP cost. But with a player advantage, you can see Furia are looking to pack up together, having two players over towards B, and one still looking for a potential flank from middle. But, oh, this is interesting. They're looking to push, and the timing might work out. Kami actually needs to be a little bit aware, or they find one. It will just be her, if the timing works out. There we go, the kill comes through. 
No one else to be found, but it is a free on free. Nice uh, bit of utility here from Bubs. This was the player. I believe she spotted perhaps Mari inside that uh, temple. But this is a good after plant. They have uh, full control of Donut. They all three our uh, players are going to position themselves uh, towards that area. Isador, she has a smoke. Oh, this is brilliant. This might be the map winning movie by Anna X. She has flanked. She has gotten oh. Issa down. She has taken out Ka. And it's all down to Mari. Oh, she doesn't have a smoke, which the initial shot. And look at the panic that is just ending up here. And look at them being happy. And of course, Black Dragons against 